Hello and welcome everyone, Lionheart here. We're the part 83 of the Adresian Kingdom Let's Play for Total War Room 2. Thanks again for all your helpful comments and advice on the situation. Really appreciate you assembling once more as my Council of War. So, I've been advised, go for Lilibeum, Lionheart. Try and cripple Rome, force them to take attrition. So in we go, I've already um, weakened their garrison. We needed to, really. Go straight in for an auto resolve there. We'll go in with aggressive. That's that garrison down, and we will raise it. Unfortunately, Rome is not yet down. Maybe it'll take a turn for that to kick in. Now, also something which I don't think anyone picked up on will be liberating Marco Maids because there's no point in me taking it for myself. I don't want to hold again, have to directly go toe to toe with Egypt just yet. But I'm also going to have to liberate here, and that will actually create a far solid, uh, far more solid block. Because if I just took Marco Maids, Egypt could circumnavigate my block along the coast. Not that they probably would. And okay, that is a province capital. I could probably hold it a little bit better. But that means, well, no. Thinking about it, I could leave an army there, but then the coast is. Exp mm, I don't know. I think I might just play it safe and liberate both these settlements for now, uh, if I can. Although I think the Garamantia may spawn from both. So if I don't, I'll be liberating Marco Maids first. If I can liberate this one as well, I will. If not, I will just occupy and I'll have to leave an army there. So that's what we're going to try and do with this army from Lepsis to Marco Maids in the next turn. So we'll see. Um... These guys are holding at Carthage. We're going to hold here at Lilibaeum, and you guys suggested that I raised a general here and just gave him a couple of. Um, a couple of mercenaries just for one turn. So we're going to see which one has the. what's going to help most. Um. I guess, yeah, that will help. Although, actually, we could reinsert the legacy. Let's just check. Oh, Heralds of Death. Um, I'll probably... I'll just bring these guys back, because I'd prefer the Heralds of Death, probably, for a... Uh, for an army which I'm actually going to build up, rather than one that I'm just going to leave for a few turns. Which of these guys... Oh, God, they're going to tank the economy like crazy. Ah, these guys, not so much. We'll get loads of those. Couple of them. I think with those all holding there, I is hit my economy pretty hard. But those plus the four I'm gonna spawn, we should be okay. So I'm gonna leave them there. Hopefully I can get rid of them next turn or something like that soon. Uh, I'm gonna hope that Rome just disappears very quickly. They're down to just two more regions. If not, at least when I take Mako Maids, they should go down. Um. Although I assume only their province capital is probably keeping them afloat. Uh, we also have to keep an eye on Syracuse. Now, I'm not attacking them just yet. I'm going to wait because the Pictons are pretty much hitting all their major settlements. And if they can succeed with this next turn, then we can probably lend some help with this army moving in as well. I'm going to pop my spy into this army. So it's going to hold out here. Now, I was also talking about potentially... Potentially... Um striking Nicomedia and looking to liberate but as many of you inform me Nicomedia is where Bithynia start off so there's no point going for it um, so what I'm going to do is actually with this army and I can't pull back any further so I'll just stay fortified I'm just gonna stay there keep these guys close by we've got loads of other armies hopefully looking to help us out and again I have that war target on Athens through there although no I'm gonna leave it on there because it seems like my the AI is marching towards me I'm looking to get rid of some either convert or take these units for myself. Defects, good, because then I can actually pop them in my armies and that will lower the unit cost, because I've got veterans in there to give my troops veterancy, but right now I kind of need them to um, join my side. I'm not as confident with this one to claim, and I'm only going to try this... Yeah, there we go. Defects, perfect. Because I didn't want to spend loads of money on that. I'm going to send my spy um, to here. To potentially combat these guys next turn. We use her intelligence ability. 
And we were we got rid of that army of Athens last time. We brought, brought these guys over to Pel uh, to Athena, to Athens, and we've got those guys at Pella to hold them off there. We have a spy that's ready to go from here, and we're going to send her to the front as well. And again, we need to be upgrading the economy where possible. And I'm actually going to upgrade at Pella. Uh, food is okay for now. Uh, I could go for probably a harbour for more raiders and, and navy, but um, we're going to look at expanding the local towns. Larissa, how happy are we? We were pretty happy here, actually. Pretty happy indeed. Um, we could go for research rate wealth from culture, but I'm not going to just yet. We're building up elsewhere. we just got, got to watch out. We're getting rid of the slums there, so we need to remember that next time. We've got to watch out for Pontus, who are nearly at war with us again, I would have thought. Um, so the plan with that is if I can liberate Tanis, if not we fall back from Tanis, liberate Olbia as we come back through, chase that army, take it down and then pull the army back down this way. Now, um, where is the army exactly? The raiders. I want to find where the blades have got to. Let's look at my forces. Where are they? Oh, these guys can be upgraded anyway. Yeah, they just took that settlement. Good, good. We'll increase replenishment rate. And we'll increase, yes, uh, your ammunition. The blades. Notably because they were one of my best uh, armies. The traditions, they are rank 9. Um, and they're going to be called the Blades of Sooths. Who was my faction leader who died last turn. But a glorious leader he was. Let's see if we can find a banner that befits him as well. Oh no, we can only choose between two. That sucks. We'll keep with the... Is it a wise raven or something like that? Yeah, let's go with that. But anyway, in his honour, the Blades of Sooth. Right, we're now going to end the turn, but I have bits that I can assign still. Ah, oh, my fleets, which we're holding here for now. Oh, and in fact, actually, it reminds me what, I, what else I could do with my fleets. Just thinking. Uh, household... Increase e so support ships for all ships. So that's for all support ships. Uh, that'll do. <laughs> we'll take that one for now. Increase ammunition. That's all that done there. I'm just thinking, where is my navy? Oh, no, we brought that down to Corallis. We could try and smash these guys. I'll have to do that next turn. Right, now we're going to end turn. Let's see what happens, Rome. Please start taking attrition. You're not taking a treasure. We shall have war, ah. and poets will sing of it ten thousand years hence. Oh, well, we knew that was going to happen, so they're going to go north, and they're going to attack me here. Okay. We're starting to lose our settlements in the north. A noble death, unfortunately. Alright, so we're losing our territory in the north. They're going to retake this one as well. Ah, okay, that means the blades are caught behind enemy lines, so we're going to need to pull them back very, very quickly. And we need to get to Thur because uh, we might have to hmm, shift some of my military focus over to a new general and mercenary force there to hold Thur with everything I've got. Athens now. Now's, now's big big plans time. Please don't do anything. Athens, please don't do anything. Okay, that was alright. Athens not really doing much. We made it through. RDI coming on down. They're all coming down through Italy, but then they're not doing anything. We don't like this. Tillis holding about Bithynia. They're sending more force here. Right, we're going to have to pull back with the blades. <clears throat> I 
But we make it through the end turn there. You valiantly fell. Military sabotage down here. And they're trying to force my guys to pull back here. Attrition. And what do they got here? Not the best army. And unfortunately my spy is the wrong way round to be of use this turn. Okay, so we're, we're going to have to pull back from here anyway. Uh, I'm kind of tempted to force march because I don't... I don't think they'd abandon the city surely to ambush me. And it doesn't look like they can reach me either. So they're going to take that. And if they suddenly pull away from it, what I will do is... Is look to um, quickly jump in and liberate again. Persia's been destroyed. Why are we so upset here again? Um, raiding. Ah, raiding. Yes, Rome is raiding with their army. I don't know if these guys... Would we stand much of a chance? Yes, we would. But I'm probably going to cock it up if I fight this myself. So I'm actually going to go for the auto-resolve here. I'm going to go for balanced stance. <gasps> we sunk the whole navy. Yes. Kill the captives. Oh, look at that, you beauties. Happy Lionheart indeed, and we're going to go for melee attack for all ships. These guys are raiding here, which can't be keeping these guys. Um, Lepsis is a bit wrecked. We need to sort that all out. Can I go and hit here? Not yet. Unfortunately, uh, but I want to send this spy up here anyway to see what's going on up here, see if they have much of an army. No, they don't, and in fact, it's actually quite weak and open for an assault. But to get up there, uh, I'd have to go back from over here to make it effective. Syracuse have fled. They've taken them out there. Syracuse are going down. So I will try and look, see if I can take Ibossum from them. Bossum's going to spawn 12, but they're already heavily depleted. I just need these armies to move around, these ships to move away a little bit. And I'll see if I can reclaim, reclaim, reclaim a little bit of land. Looks like the Gauls are finally moving on in now. They know what they can take. So unfortunately, I've lost probably a fair few lands that I could claim in Iberia for myself. Well, I say that. I could take Ibossum, or I could... Oh, well, I'm going to move to Ibossum. I'm going to move here, so I'm ready. Ready to go for it. Rome is not going to break. Doesn't look like they're going to attack there. They've got nine. Force at Syracuse slowly building up. If I upgrade that, I get more warriors. That's only going to take one turn to do. I'm going to get rid of these guys. Try and push the economy up a little bit. Holding with these guys at Lilabaeum. And we don't want to against, go up against other navies. We want to build more ships there though and where is it the slums I got rid of over here we want to build a farm that's going to be troublesome up there but hopefully we can sort that out um, they're going to hit the I was going to build a generals and I ah oh actually we might be okay what have we got Thracian warriors skirmishers bowmen and we've got ballistas as well so if I can give you a general no I can't I can't afford it so we're going to need to get um, okay we're not going to upgrade your port Lepsis I'm afraid this turn because I need that extra fundage cunning battle captives go for this guy we'll reinstate the legacy of these guys and we'll go for a infantry unit. We'll pop him in here. Can't afford to recruit any this time. We can't get any of those mercenaries, which sucks. And these guys will cost a buttload. Um, lancers wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's go for armoured lancers. They don't cost anything to really acquire to start with. What have they got, actually? There's no point in me getting loads of cavalry, because they've got loads of do a fair few spears and they're not going to help me up on the walls. So we need... We'll get the armoured ones and we'll get these guys. For now. 
hopefully with my garrison we'll be okay. Unless they then they'll nip brown behind me and take out other lands blatantly and I'll be left chasing them like crazy. Okay, so all of these though. All of you. Uh, Agent, you're coming out of this army. We should hopefully see some improvements to the economy any second. Yep, that's an improvement for sure. I guess I can't move these guys at all. Oh, I can. Good. I'm going... Oh, but then we can't fortify up for a turn. And Athens is bluntly going to strike me there, but they're going to strike me here anyway. I'm going to pull back then. We'll fortify back up the ne next turn. I'll have to use maybe some... Well, next time I'll have to use some agents against them. Send the dignitary or the noble here. Get this guy out, because he can probably cripple some of those spies. Military administration. All oh, that really helps. Good. Unfortunately, there's probably nothing I can do. No, the actions are all too expensive. So we use her ability. I doubt he can do anything either. No. They're all too expensive. We use his ability. Bring these guys here. It's an agent war now. No one ever said I didn't have enough agents, right? <laughs> do, do, do. Those guys are still moving next turn. Okay, we're going to get a hold of this and we're going to vitalize the economy when we can. This spy's coming over to have some fun too. We're holding here. That Athenian army is trying to potentially land, or thinking about it at least. They could from there. Oh no, they can't strike Larissa, which is good. Oh, I know what I was keeping that spy for actually. I was keeping it to poison these guys. But that's okay. Um... Keeping this one here in case Rome decides to land and Athens there. Right. I think what we can do now is just end the turn. So we'll end the turn and see what happens. Oh, they're coming to attack me. Okay. Yeah, they're going to bring in both of those. Okay. Oh, but by the looks of things, I hope you're in... Oh, we've got lots of... I'm probably just going to auto-resolve this one. We're going to go with the protective stance. See off Rome's threat there. Bye-bye. That'll do. Okay, we're moving... Oh, finally moving that army away. Good. And they're pulling their forces over, I think, to their other territory. They're pulling back. believe they are pulling back to try and consolidate now. Egypt's also appearing. No, Egypt's got an army. Actually, Egypt might be one to see if I should see if I can grasp a peace with. I don't like how e Athens and... Okay. You're trying to hit me here. We'll go aggressive. Not that we're going to have much of a chance. I don't like how they're sending fleets across the sea toward me. Yeah, they're going to take it, of course. I'm probably just going to try and... Um, I don't know if I... Should, no, I'm probably... Well, probably I should probably besiege them, actually. I've got a, a spy I could poison them with. I could besiege them and then liberate again. At least that gives the Royal Scythians a reasonable settlement to start with. I don't know. I don't know. Athens. Oh, they're going for a settlement. They're going for Syracuse now. Damn. Not going to be able to hold them off twice. All those skirmishes, and I don't have a cavalry unit. That's decided that's a close defeat. Well, we'll go for a protective stance, close defeat. Damn, Athens gaining a foothold on Syracuse. That's not good. That's the first move I've seen them move to there for a while. Sorry there's no battles in this at the moment, but right now the auto resolves are kind of the ones to go for. At least that's my thinking anyway. Athens, seeing it's like it's, they realise they can't push over here anymore, so they're going via sea, which is going to really cripple my empire if I'm not careful. And 
they've got reasonable navies as well. So I don't know, well again, War Council, assemble. <laughs> we need to see what you think now. What do you recommend? Excuse me? Bithynia trying to chase me there. We won't let them do that. A German confederation thinking of doing something, what they actually do. Here's a whole other thing entirely. I'm surprised how quickly Nova Carthago and Carthage have been able to build up their forces, but I'm glad that at least holds Iberia. Honourable death. Ah, oh, seriously, slums in Lillabayum. Oh, I didn't build anything, did I? For cock's sake. I'm not having a good one today. That's not going well. I'm putting the um, the slums notification back on my wall. Public order. Well, that's probably quite useful. Wealth, morale for units. But we need the. We're trying to limit its gravitas, but it's replaced because it's not exactly limiting in March, is it? Damn it. Sorry, guys. Uh, right. Well, we could push them out probably with this army. And then Lillibane becomes open. What is this? Is a fleet? No, that's actually, yes, that is a fleet. These guys are armies. And they can attack um, Fapsus here. They probably will. They can't strike from here, which means I could try and get to Mokka Maids. I can either get within striking distance and then have to pull back. I think I'll do it. I think I'll try and get, get there. And um, my spy can get in there to hopefully weaken them. Okay, right, Syracuse. Can anyone hit? I don't think they can. We can't get to get back to strike. Well, we'll get within range, try and push them back, because we don't want Athens holding land here, really. Normally we can't hit their fleet. Hopefully they won't. Oh, they instantly get, well, they instantly get a full garrison. What? I'm not having that. Start weakening it. Hopefully we get a good poison here. That uh, failed. Wow, really? 90... 90% or 95% chance. Right. Uh, Egypt, if possible. Speak if you must. Ah, damn it. Um... Pharaoh, the sword of Egypt will not be satisfied. I will listen carefully to you. Oh, Bithynia will take peace. My yes. Has a collection of parts. I'm going to get peace with Bithynia for a turn. Or two. And we're trying to take as much money from them as possible. Boom. Do not. It's not going to last so long. Uh, Pontus didn't attack me at Thur. He must have been deterred by... My force, yeah, they've just garrisoned up. I kind of have no option but to strike here. But we'll try and weaken them with the poisoning. Even further than they were. Good, it's been successful. Good, that's reasonable. In we go. Coming back in to liberate. Seeing their force versus what I have. The auto resolve suggest 82%. Yep. Yeah. Again, sorry for no battles, but right now we're trying to push through. Right, we're going to liberate. Royal Scythians are back. And I'm going to force march myself to here, so I should be in striking distance for Albia next time. Um, we. Hmm, want more ammunition. And increase the effectiveness of our swordsmen. Oh, we got away with that somehow. Right, these guys are about the Royal Scythians. Good and noble friend. What an honor. Good, I can't extort you for any money at the moment because we're not linked. Uh, I got loads of money here though. Aha, l -l no. That was last time. That was dealing with their slums. But at least we can try and develop elsewhere. Got to be careful of that public order, though. Otherwise, that's going to wreck things. I mean, it's already a little bit unhappy over here. Uh, for agriculture or local commerce. 
that does get us a nice healthy boost anyway, so we'll go for that there. Uh, Noria, you were going to go for... We're going to go for more farms? No, we won't go for more farms. Research rate? No, well from agriculture there. That is going to hit us a little bit, but we can go for th that as well. That's public order and food. Wealth from all sources increases. Uh, I don't think that's worth it right now. We're going to go for that instead for, again, push that agriculture. Um, trying to get manage the economy and get it back in check. Uh, Midlin is still very unhappy. If we, up we need to upgrade that then to keep them going or oh, we're gonna have problems need to sort out Rome in a turn or two got these guys holding here for me Brandisium will hold with the garrison of 11 they're there well, they're, they're all spears I'm just trying to think can I afford plus I've got a little fleet here we could build one more there I'm kind of thinking I could pull with this I could pull this army down to help push back against Syracuse and then um, might free things up there. Who else is at war with Athens? Of my of my uh, friends that are close by. The German Confederation, Epirus is so they should all come in to help me. Well, they are no, they're in force march, so they won't be able to. Lots of javelins, lots of them. They've got a couple of ballista ships. Which isn't going to do me much favours. Thracian warriors, skirmishers, bowmen. Plus have the Thracian warriors on ships. I'm going to risk it. I'm not going to potentially enjoy this, but I'm going to risk it because that means I can pull that army back to there. This is a navy over here. These guys need to replenish up before I try striking these guys with my navy. Um... Uh, one way I want to push out, but I can't afford to because Carthage isn't that strong. So they're going to probably take Fapsus, but then I'll smash them back into the sea. We have to pull back to Lepsis next turn if we can't liberate Marco Maids in time. So I think... Oh no, we've got over here. How weak are these guys? They're all good things. They're all going to reinforce in if I go for them right now. It's got an army up here. So I kind of need just to, just to stay close by right now, ready to strike. Because the bottom, well, the garrison's still just about acceptable. They've gone and taken a Lispo, so yeah, Syracuse is going down. I'm going to make sure I take a bottom though. This is going to be mine, hopefully. Right, end turn. No, we can set a skill to somebody else. Oh, and actually, no, there's one other thing I wanted to do. Uh, cunning. Yes, we'll increase your cunning. One other bits I wanted to do. No, I didn't do any of the bits over here in terms of... I don't have any action points, so I can't do that. They've stopped me there. Um, well, with all these champions in, I'm going to send them out as scouts for me. Because it almost does seem like if I get a string... I can't send too many. But if I were to get a couple of armies, I could probably push through here because they're pulling them all over here now. I'm worried about where these are going. Sorry, brief pause there. Um, I actually had to go grab the phone, which was kind of perfect timing because I was about to end turn. But um, that forced me to come back, and I actually um, had like another look over the map while I wasn't recording um, to, to just get my bearings before we end this turn. And I realised that I wasn't happy with the fleet, the Roman fleet that was here, but I foolishly... Well, not fortunately, I went out and I auto-resolved it and we won, so these guys have taken a bit of a hit, but I didn't hit record, and then if I want to reload the save, it auto has auto-saved back to now, so I can't actually show you that battle again, but I promise I haven't changed anything else, um, I haven't got any more money or anything like that, so nothing else has changed. But yes, I just went and uh, auto-resolved uh, that naval battle, so they are gone there, so that's everything I wanted to do. So we're now going to end turn, sorry about that. Um... Right, yeah, those agents I need to move up next turn. Rome, I was expecting you guys here. 
but I'm glad at least Lillabaeum is safe and just taking that extra assurance, but at least taking out one of their navies for now. Syracuse looks like it's going down, so finally one of my enemies over there will be down. And it's just up to, to me to finish off Rome, and then it's Egypt and Athens, Seleucids, Bithynia, and Pontus <laughs> to keep an eye on. Those are the major ones anyway. Like Carthage, you're moving some forces along, that's good. I like that. Egypt, what are you doing? You're moving a fleet or an army back, you're moving an army off from Kyrene. You're moving several other armies around close by, which I don't like. I don't like it. Seleucids are heading towards Pella. Pontus is finally attacking Thur. Should have put some more mercenaries in there, really. Or done something, because I can't help them out anymore now. Which is not good. Uh, so we're going to have to just wait for them to attack, which means they're going to weaken my forces a little bit. But that's all I can afford to do, really. So again, War Council, assemble and give me your full um, your full thoughts, your guidance and counselling, to see if we can hold off the oncoming Athenian tide. me with numerous agents. Unfortunately the only counter that I have to that is to throw agents back at them really or to try and convert them or kill them. Uh, sorry Lion Yaw. Lion Yaw? Oh, Lion Yawn. Uh, I was thinking Lion Roar, Yawn at the same time. Oh dear, Athens sending a lot of forces over here. Our enemies tremble at the thought of your might. Will you not give such uh, no, sorry. Epirus, would you actually just do something for me and sodding attack Athens with your navy, or your army or something? Uh, at least we've got a temporary peace with Bithynia, even if it is only temporary. All those agents stacked up there. RDI, please, help me. Help me. Come on, do something for me. Help me. Syracuse fleeing in all directions. Ships and armies taking heavy attrition. Annoyingly, I think I've got three more turns until my treaty with them's over. Ah, uh, oh, you are kidding me. Okay, I'm gonna break the alliance with the Scythians. They're heading north to potentially hit Pontus. It's the first kind of active thing they've done for a while. Nova Carthago and Carthage have been able to bring up forces very quickly. I'm quite impressed. That's it, score DC. You come and help me. Settlement on the siege, which is a version. Okay, okay. Faction joined your enemies. Path Harbor. Seriously? Ships built at Brindisium. Oh, yes, we're building a few more. Well, our economy's taking a hit. That goes winter, yeah. Fertility and all that. A bit low. Um. If these guys will take trade. Yes. We will speak together of whatever you wish, but bring words that can warm Ooh. our hearts. Ah. I was excited then. Oh, they want a trade agreement instead. Okay, what about 3k? Yes! That'll do. They're nice and friendly. Oh, what about these guys? Greetings, friend. I have called for good ale to ease your throat and ha ah, ripe women to ease other parts. Nope, don't mean to do that. How's two K? Okay, one K there, Bithynia. Before you say anything. How about you, Athens? You want you trade? Peace? Let's have a look at their lands. It's over to here for now. Egypt controls the rest of it. Egypt's another empire. We need to really have peace with. Mm. Oh, why are we untrustworthy with that? Oh, is that just with them? Or in total? What, what happened there? Oh, it's because I... Because I broke my alliance with Royal Scythia. Even though they're actually still pretty happy with me. But they don't actually like the fact that I broke the treaties. That's a shame. That's probably why it's a little bit harder for me to get 
um, trade, but yeah, they're definitely not going to trade with me now. I am sure you have many pleasantries for me, but no. Okay. All right, just thinking. Just thinking. We'll pull this army down here. Get rid of these guys. Bye bye Athens, you're not allowed here. And we will raise it, because they've no doubt built their own buildings here. Oh, and Lilibeum, obviously it's got its own bits to have. Uh, I might as well convert everything over while I've got the funds this turn. From all those extra trade agreements. Right, now this army, Lilibeum is now kind of safe-ish, sort of, not really. But I should build up some more guys here. So I'm going to bring them to Lilibeum. But I could potentially bring these guys over with a force march next turn to Carthage and then pull this army for Carthage down here to try and hit these guys because they're now behind my lines and they can start causing me trouble. Right, now we have a decision here. Do we raise a general and try and hire some mercenaries at Lepsis to hold these guys off for one turn? Liberate Marco Maids. Actually, thinking about it, that seems like the most logical thing to do. So let's actually quickly raise someone here. Tax rate, royal family, royal family. Uh, we could reinstate a legacy, I guess. What mercenaries can we get? Not one of those, some javelins. Plus the units that I already have incoming. We should be fine. Because we're going to get... What are we going to get here? Thracian Warrior 2000, yeah, that should be fun. So let's quickly push this here. Auto resolve it. Aggressive. Through the face. Liberate. Ah, Libya's back. Cool. Right, now with that, I really want to get up here, but I can't. Oh, I could have got back to Lepsis. I can get back to Lepsis, so in fact, sorry. That was a complete waste of money. I should have checked, basically, before I did that. Whoops. Lionheart too eager. We'll pull back here. Defend. Send this spy up here again. And get ready to hit up here. These guys are still not taking attrition. What the hell? Uh, I guess you've taken this one back, but still. We must have a crazy amount of trade coming in. Re-establish Libya, though. Can I extort loads of trade from you? Hopefully. I guess now I have to honour my... We'll give you a fair answer before mm, the lots of money. Sets. Lots and lots of money. Lots and lots of money. Wow! If only I could join war against um, Athens. No. But I can get 5k off them. Sweet. If only I could demand more of them. I, agree and I wonder if I can, I can just demand. In this matter. My people will Thank you, Libya. Very friendly. That is so friendly. It's going to take ages now to build up that untrustworthiness again. But uh, build it up to something trusty, trusted, rather. We're going to force march up to here next turn. And then move along the road. So we won't leave. We'll, we may have to build that army. But also we've got these guys to potentially think about as well. So we shall have to see. Um, let's bring... This spy over here as well, pretty sharpish. Athens, oh dear. They have uh, a fleet here. They're going to go and hit me at Neapolis. So that's something to think about as well. Do we build another army there, rather? Or, and build, throw a couple of mercenaries in? That's the question. We've got these guys all here getting ready. Their armies to strike. Got these guys here being poisoned. Uh, these guys up here probably. Can't attack actually. This turn. No, we can't. So I'm going to keep them this side of the bridge. Then we'll strike next turn. Does it need uh, a poisoning? Let's have a look. Eight. No, shouldn't need to. So in that case, Spy, you're going straight up to third. Spend the rest of the money next time. 
Rolskithians, you're still kind of like me, which is okay. Welcome. We will talk and then we will feast until our guts rumble. And our uh, you won't trust me anymore. Well, I don't blame you. But that stopped me going back to war with Bithynia straight away. So, lots of agents to deal with. We've got 7k. Probably need to build up some bits. Check public order that's going on everywhere. Food is building, which is good. But yeah, we need to check that public, keep that public order in check. Oh, we've got Syracuse to consider as well. Not near any of my lands, but they do have this big army here, so we just have to wait a few more turns for them to absolutely disappear into nothingness because they're getting wrecked everywhere. So, that's where we're going to wrap up for now. I do hope you've enjoyed this part. Please join me in a comment, subscribe, follow me on Facebook and Twitter, take pride and join the Legion. Until next time, ciao for now.